Hey guys, this is Dennis Hagoff and this is sales shop. And today we have a new review, a new wheel, new product from a company Extreme Bull, the Extreme Bull XM. So new wheels in the two versions are available, HT, high torque and high speed and you can definitely now uh, see, you know, the difference by yourself because the HT version high, high torque are in the yellow color frame and for the HS motor, for the high speed it is a red one. So I was tested in my review red one but I already sent it to our an hour office for the presentation so here I have a new one high torque so let's start the review Okay, so the test was done and uh, just small, you know, history of this wheel, the interesting f interested fact is that uh, these wheels when the officially Extreme Bull and Bigode represent them and show to all world the pictures with uh, nice girls, Chinese girls with these superhero costumes, you know, and so on. So yeah, we, we all saw that, that pictures, but uh, exactly, you know, the overall community don't uh, pay such attention to that product because all we saw that specification, uh, batteries, capacity and so on, motors already saw in the RS model, so here nothing specially new was to the community and of course like all these new products V12 HT, the Master 134 volts and the, of course the King Song S22 here the attention of all community was much much more bigger in, in that so this one models just stay somewhere and as usually they present that model and so after that we needed to wait four or five months I think uh, so and we just all forgot and suddenly I have here with uh, these wheels for review I think I even first in Europe I think so so yeah and I test them so let's talk about the main point why you should buy that wheel and what uh, are the difference between for example RS and this one so as we know, RS we also have in the two version of the motors high speed, high torque, C30 high speed, C38 high torque, and this is the hollow motors with a small bearings, new generation hollow motors, and also we have here exactly the same motors for these both two wheels, both two products. So no difference at all here. And for the high speed, we use the road tire, new CST road tire, and I have mixed feelings about that. It is not bad. It's not bad. It's better than, for example, uh, usual uh, tire in the RS, you know, road tire. Better, but not so great in my opinion. But I can live with that tire if I will buy that wheel from the box high speed version. And for the high torque, we have CST of Road Knobby tire. I don't like at all. So I was speaking a lot about that. You can see it in my previous all reviews about my master reviews and so on. So I don't like that, but. 
Yes, the tire are differing for, for the different version of the wheel. Color are differing and here uh, we have the same controller like we have uh, in the Bigode RS and all on our Bigode 100 volts wheels. Same same DC board, same speaker, same Bieber, all the same. Same screen like on the RS, but here the screen are in the white color. And you can see it more clearly in the daylights. And in my opinion, it is a better solution to have white, white one color. But screen all, also same like the RS have, uh, EXN have and so on. So no changes here. We have two buttons here in the front. So when one button is kill switch for the motor, you push it and you kill the motor. You push it once again, the motor starts spinning. So we have handle here from the back side, from the front side. Front handle is the plastic made and I know this plastic will, it is not so elastic and I think you will broke that plastic if you will, you know, you get your crash and the wheel will be spinning, you know, all around the surface. So this one will be, will be broken. Why we do not do the metal one? part plus few hundred grams not a big problem to have here a metal but this will be the weak point as I see now already this one will be weak point from the back side we have a part of a frame and the handle to take it you know from the two sides it's comfortable to take it yeah such a such a solution is really nice you know to take it but you need to understand what this wheel don't have a trolley handle at all. No additional parts to buy, you know, from the Extreme Bull Commander, just no handle now in the market. And you, and it is a problem. They say that this wheel is built for the extreme riding, for off-road riding. So you don't need ha handle to, you know, to just ride it extremely. But I need handle when I need to trolley it. And for example, when I need to trolley it to my house, you know, so it was really uncomfortable to trolley it like that or you just need to take with this wheel in hands and you know and go in go like that so not comfortable solution and definitely I think you will need to do something with, with that handle here so yeah this is the minus in my opinion big minus here regarding the lights the lights usual we saw in all of our problem products like the Commander and all on our wheels. So two lights here, spot light. Yeah, it is bright, but it's uh, like a spot light here. So no changes. We also have here speakers. So same music, no changes. As I said before, so uh, batteries two packs. Usual e, e 50. So four parallels. Uh, 1800 watt hours. You know, so all here the same, but. What is the difference why you should buy that wheel as I say? So first of all, if we will take this uh, small history, you know, uh, for the products big body, MSX, MSP, and now RS. So all these wheels are great, comfortable to ride, have a great performance, but two weak points are still present in the new generation RS. So first of all, it is a very weak body. So if you have a bigger crash, you know, immediately all inner shell or goes out, you know, like that. The all these B headlights, you know, all this stuff are going from the wheel, you know, on the cables, uh, on the wires. So this is the weak point. So this wheel, you need to go carefully or you need to buy additional protective cover, you know, to put it in the cover to to make its uh, all overall body much stronger, but uh, additional cover cost additional money. So here they are not cheap products in the market as I know. So this is the one problem. And the second one, of course, it is a waterproofness of the RS and all these uh, product lines we got ahead in the last two years. So waterproof for the RS are really really bad here and the main problem is the trolley handle this part of a trolley handle you have holes inside the RS and all the water just go immediately inside the RS body and as we know the main board control board for, for the RS are placement are here you know so all the water immediately go to the to the controller and you have your controller burn it usually when you're riding from the box in the rain condition so this was the second one problem here so for the, this one products Extreme Bull XM, these two problems are completely solved. First of all, you have a metal frame and this metal frame are really strong one. It is uh, 
piece of uh, metal, you know, and overall, as I can feel that, but it will handle mostly impacts, you know, you will, you will provide to that wheel. And I see, don't see here any additional problems, but you will broke and all this wheel will just split, you know, on two sides. So here this problem are solved and uh, not only uh, because of that metal frame, but also because this all compartment here where this board are placed, it is a one big piece of metal like the silumin, I think, or aluminum or silumin. So all this here compartment are big, big metal part and it is screwed to the to the, this frame so from the all this side it is when you screw it you know together you get complete complete uh, very um, durable and strong strong construction you know to to hold all these impacts so in my opinion this is great solution not great solution because this is for metal parts you know and if you will metal will be damaged and water will go so you it, i think it will be rusty you know in the one winter season you will ride it in the snow and salt and so on so yes we have pluses and we have also minuses here. From the back side, you, you see some type of a rear bumper and also it is uh, it, it is have a function of a kickstand, you know, you just can push, put that wheel on, like the, on the stand here. But what I don't like, what we have also here with plastic and this plastic, it is uh, not soft, you know, it is hard plastic and I think if it will bump somewhere you know from the back side this plastic will be broken immediately here so in my opinion add additional few hundred grams and have here a metal part uh, which one will uh, combine together these two metal parts will make this con overall this construction much more stronger here but as usual we have some some minuses you know you need to work with uh, additionally from the box so the pedals the foot plates are going from the box now the commander and we here definitely see here the commander logo uh, these pedals are great i like them so you have here ships and no problems you can adjust angle just here quite easily if you need more you know for more off-road ride and you want to you know rise the pedal a little bit you can just easily adjust the this pedal here. It is much more better product than we had previously with uh, uh, pedals we saw in the Commander uh, with uh, no normal ships, you know, and, and so on. So that, that type of a product was, uh, I can say, just from the box, not, not usable at all. So here we have uh, definitely usable one pedals and you can just easily use them. Okay. In the box we have usual uh, old generation 100 volt 3 amps bigotte charger nothing changed here also uh, wire for them we have four bumpers uh, two bumpers uh, from the back just put it here and uh, small bumpers here to the to the frame to put it like that here in the front side so but the uh, funny stuff is what you don't have here uh, two type you know uh, two type tape you know to to put it here so we, from the box you cannot install them you need to use your own two side tape you know to or glue it it just directly to a frame you know but from the box you cannot use them just keep it in mind if you will order that product so you have such mud guard mud guard is piece of uh, paper uh, as i said and you need to install it by your own by and you have in the box uh, four i think zip ties two or four zip ties so you need to to put it inside like that put it inside like that and here you have the holes here and just zip tight them and you have a mud guard like that so overall construction of a mud guard is what i saw that in my tested one uh, high speed model but when i put it in the car you know this mud guard go like that screw it because the wheel are moving some some additional cargo in the in the in the car so the mud guard going like that after the first ride with a car you know and when you go somewhere to ride you see your mark word looking like that so it is easily deformated you can see it what what is very easily deformated and usually you always need to 
to check it, you know, to, to, to make the right shape again to that mud guard. And the second one problem is what this mud guard are placed like that. Yes, it is very sporty look, but all mud will go, you know, just through like that from the sides and so on. Because normal placement for the mud guard should be like that, you know, to cover the wheel, cover the motor. But this is not looking so sexy, so that's why they put it like that for you. This is solution uh, from them. Okay, next one part about the pads. So, riding uh, with all original pads we have from the box are not comfortable because of that reason. Here we have this border here, and if you remember the old generation MSP, MSX, so we had also same problem with uh, very small pads and not so elastic, and also we had here we have head where the border so your legs when you push that wheel and when you start riding aggressively cornering and so on your legs and your bones always pushing this one side here this one border and this is not helps and still you push it and after one day of ride second day i was not able to ride with that wheel because i have already my legs are you know uh, in pain in that in that place so definitely you need to change the path to do something to make the riding comfortable again to you overall you can see these pads are looking like the power pads here so push it from the to the for for the accelerating push it for braking but i can say you definitely what this is not like that this is only an illusion what you can do that because if you a little bit able to 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 break with and use that part with your legs but this one part are too um, the distance are too big you know and if you want to use it and you want to push it with your legs you need to go with your legs all forward you know you need to lean so much forward to to reach that place to start playing so it is not comfortable and uh, as i said Definitely you will need to change here something because from the box as usual they are not pleasure, not comfortable to ride and do not uh, give you that performance uh, they are built for. And we have also here uh, some type of uh, jump pads but jump pads also not working like the jump pads. The here the, the, uh, the dimension the height they are too placed too high here so not comfortable to use with the legs and they are definitely too small so your legs just you cannot just take the wheel the grab the wheel with, with, with you here so wrong position wrong placement wrong dimensions all here definitely all here wrong okay about the speakers and all these solutions how we build that wheel so as I said, the idea you have uh, one compartment here and all main board and all these DC blocks, speakers, boozers and so on, screen, all placement are now here in the, in the upside here. So you have here the cover and cover goes onto the cover. So it, from the box it is quite good water resistant, but if you are thinking to make it better you can just open it you know to put here additional silicone or hermetic and place it on the hermetic and you will have 100 percent here um, protected from the water wheel good solution yes but uh, i will try to show you so here in the back side we have two speakers and two speakers are looking directly to the wet wheel to that wet tire so it is but when we always send rocks, water and so on, some obstacles will be, you know, take it with a wheel when you're riding, go directly to the speakers here. So this mud guards protect a little bit speakers, but not 100%. So all this stuff you're playing with, you know, and this wheel will definitely, all, all mud will go, you know, on the on the upside with a big pressure definitely in the someday you will just lose your speakers they will be broken physically and when the speaker will be broken physically all what can easily go to the inner inner here compartment inner box you know and you can flow with a water your controller and you will get controller burn so in my opinion uh, 
I should even I I will write to the bigode and will say that just not put the don't don't put the speakers just uh, silicone these two holes you know just close these holes and made the wheel with a uh, 50 50 euros cheaper and I think it will be much better because they we do not put here the trolley handle just because we say this is a sporty one wheel for the hard using but we put here the speakers in the most badly place you can fi find in all this wheel you know to put this is the solution so I definitely would throw them out and close this hole here another one story is the bibber from the front side and the same placement are looking directly to the wheel Few few centimeters from the wheel and no additional like here protection are made for the bibber and it is just open one so it is a matter of time when your bitter bibber will be also physically damaged you know by, by the rocks and so on water and else and will not working so also bad place here need to change here something I don't know why we are doing that but we are doing that okay this is the bad points but we also have the good points and the good points but this one will, will not like uh, only with uh, two ways but it is quite easy to um, uh, quite easy to make full 100% waterproof net proof proof it it is very strong frame and you can definitely go much harder and will not be uh, cannot be afraid that you will lose something or something will be broken in the next time you damage your wheel so not only about that but overall this wheel is uh, till now as i see all these wheels new most easily to be assembled and most easily to be maintain maintained so i'll so simple here in that wheel that is most simplestly built wheel and most friendly wheel for the rider because if you will unscrew here four screws from one side four from an hour you will have immediately access to all your electric circuits to all wires all schematics and so on so it is very easy to do in the next three four minutes and you need to disassemble all covers remove all pedals and so on so yes this is first one second one this battery compartment are in the own boxes and these boxes are built from the two parts you know you can just unscrew that boxes and you will see the normal bigotti 900 watt hour packs inside so you can just additionally put the silicone screw that back and also where the wires come out from that place we also see from the factory is already hermetized with a silicone or some type of a hermetic so it will be also easily easily 100% uh, hermetized here so it is really a good point and if you need to remove the uh, pack you just unscrew it few screws uh, and unplug it and you take all this part out you know from the wheel very easy to maintain and the most important plus here I see is what uh, if you need to change the tire or change the tube inside uh, you don't need to unplug and unscrew all the motor all the wheel and all the shell so idea is what you have here two screws here see here and four more here you just need to uh, take out this, uh, this cover you know and you will immediately have access to, to the pillars and you unscrew these pillars just like it is here nothing need to be done just unscrew it and you can take that wheel down and the idea is that the motor wiring are going from that side here so and the length i think will, will be enough to just to take that wheel and you know we will have the motor uh, with the pillars and even with the pedals you know you, can, you even cannot cannot unscrew the pedals here you will have all this motor and you will have have the wire going to the body so you can change the tire so easily and so fastly here as i said nothing need to be done here and overall all this compartment all this stuff here we see it is very easy to see the problem very easy 
to see if a wheel are full or mat or you have some obstacle heat you know inside so it is very easy to look to see to maintain to repair it to unscrew it to make all this stuff you know and it's really made with wheel very friendly for such type of heavy using so idea is as i said good protection strong body very strong body i think strongest body now in the market so you can just throw it wheel you know in all side and it will be fine except all these handles front side and the back side as i was said previously so overall idea what this wheel is ultimate machine for the extreme riders riding in the some real you know stuff like the downhill tracks with all these jumps and so on so yes this is this machine built for that so only all these parts need to be definitely removed and change it to normal one stuff to to make this machine working here so okay let's talk about performance as i said all specifications same same motor same controller same batteries like the rs but these motors are 200 watts more powerful as we written uh, in the specification compared to the rs and i was tested the rs a hrs high speed model and yes i can definitely say that from the zero from the start hrs are making the greater job compared to the rs hrs and as I can say, this is only the programming stuff. So they do something with the algorithms and this wheel are now a little bit more powerful. And even with my weight 100 kilos, I am more than happy with the HS version and I don't need even HT version. And I, when I was tested the high HS version, the free spin with 100% battery was 99.6 kilos. When I was trying to reach the maximum speed with by my own, I was able to reach 70.7 kilometers per hour and it started immediately beeping to me. 70 kilometers per hour and beeps come uh, already two or three beeps in line come and I stop accelerating. And it was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed uh, why it is start beeping only on 70. Uh, but when I look to the battery, I understand why uh, why it was happening. So this will little bit more powerful, have less, uh, have, have uh, not big battery, 100 volt. And when I start doing my test ride, so the battery was 95%, you know, not fully charged, but 95% I was start riding. Uh, I made few runs till 60. Uh, one run till 65 and five uh, and uh, second one run number five was uh, till the 70 uh, kilometers per hour so four or five only runs was done when the battery was 95 percent i was run overall my mileage was seven kilometers seven kilometers i was done to test the maximum speed so after the seven kilometers not seven i think five kilometers when i start accelerating till the maximum speed and i when when i reached the 70 kilometers and stop because it was beeping i see the battery is 54 percent left so 54 percent left of the battery after the seven kilometers of hard use in the acceleration fast acceleration with that wheel so i understand what if i will going so fast you know was i will so fast and so aggressively will accelerate till the 70 maybe till the 75 if the wheel will be 100 percent charge it and I immediately from the 100 percent will start this one first and run to made to reach that maximum speed but this is not a maximum speed you know because as i said seven kilos almost half of a battery are done with that wheel so yes powerful yes funny to ride but the energy absorbs so fast so it is making the this wheel so fast pointless to me pointless really pointless i was really disappointed here what the batteries are really drying so fast yes if you will run 40 50 yes all okay i think you will be able to run 50 kilometers you know until the next charging but if you rank aggressively riding aggressively you want to reach the maximum speed of a 70 plus so yes you you will be able few times you know two maybe times and the battery will be dried and you will be reduce it in the power in the maximum speed you will need to recharge so in my deep opinion it is only my subjective deep opinion that these wheels are 
I think that's it, you know, for that technology. Such a motor, such a batteries, uh, such with such parallels. Uh, that's it. And now if you need more performance and I saw that performance in the master, you need to go to the next level, next voltage wheel. So that's it for that wheels. This is the, I think the last one, you know, like the XM last one, dinosaur here, you know, for 100 volt wheel. So I don't think in the future somebody will make something better with 100 volt with a such big tire, big wheel, you know, such performance, fast wheel, so, and keep, you know, distance, mileage in normal here, so I think it's not possible. Need to go to 134 volts, like with, with a master. Definitely another dimension here, wheel, so performance, accelerating, braking, maximum speed, and so on, keeping that maximum speed for the long ride, you know, and so on, so, yes, this is nice one, but, I think like the technology, like like uh, all this stuff, it is all one. But yes, yes, as I said, in the price tag, of course, this wheel are cheaper. So you, if you're searching for the, some type of fun ride, you know, and you know what your rides are uh, usually ends, you know, somewhere the wheels are going from the hill, you know. So in that position, like ultimate machine for off-road riding, this is, will be better solution for you compared to the RS, you know, traditional RS. But if you are looking for a fast wheel and fast ride with ultimate power and speed and torque, so 134 volts and we all just need to wait here. So that's it, I think, for the review. Nothing to talk about more here, as I said, HS I was tested, H high torque I was not tested, but I understand the difference, so yes, for sure, high torque will be more powerful uh, for the off-road riding with a less speed here, so nothing changed, but overall I wanted to feel that wheel and wanted to feel that product. Thank you for watching, Dennis Hagov is a sales shop. If you have questions, you can always contact me. If you want to buy, we have these wheels already in stock in Europe, so you can contact me and we will send that wheel HT or HS version on your order. Can, we are ready to send them to you now. Thank you once more. Bye bye guys.